Changes to Jeff High as renovation is in full gear today. We'll see what construction workers are doing to make Jeff High School a better school. And with the renovation comes some changes in fire drills. We'll talk to Principal Steve Morris. Good afternoon. It's Monday, February 25th. The J the JHS report is next. The renovation of Jeffersonville High School is underway. Good afternoon. I'm Ashley Klontz. The front entrance to the front entrance to school door number two is now reopened. The south entrance door number three near Miss Brewer's room is now closed. Students who enter school from the parking lot may now come through the main entrance. Good afternoon. I'm Lacey Leonard. And with various doors being closed, there is a need to change fire drill procedures for those who normally use the front entrances to exit the building. Those classes will now come down the center stairs, proceed down the main hallway ramp, and exit out door number 17 near the audio video room. Principal Steve Morris says he will have a fire drill very soon to see the impact of these changes. Phase two of the renovation is underway and will last through spring break. Phase three will begin around March 20th and run through the end of the school year. At that time, door number one near Tony Nolan's room will be closed and the main entrance and door three will be open. Contractors will continue to remove ceiling tiles in the main hallways of the first floor, leaving exposed ceilings for the rest of the school year. Mr. Morris says there is a possibility of closing down room 210 and the commons area later this semester. Prom 2008 will be held on April 19th at the Galt House. This date does not conflict with Thunder Over Louisville. Please refer to page 30 in your agenda book for prom attendance guidelines. Stay tuned for further information and announcements. Rose Home and Homework Hotline is available to 6th through 12th graders for free math and science help. Call toll-free 1-877-ASK-ROSE or visit www.askrose.org. The hotline is available from 7 p.m. to 10 p.m. Sunday through Thursday. Block 5 continues after school with credit recovery Monday through Thursday in the math lab with Jeremy Stewart and SAT prep Tuesday and Thursday in the science lab with Doug Wacker. The WJHS report is happy to air your school announcement. There are two ways to do it. You may fill out the form located in the front office or have a staff member email the announcement to Mr. Gross. Please submit those announcements at least three days in advance if possible. We will have the JHS weather forecast plus your latest Jeff I sports after the break. Start your meal with a salad packed with veggies to help control your hunger and feel satisfied sooner. Ask for salad dressing to be served on the side, then only add what you need. Good afternoon, I'm Andrew Newcomb with a look at today's JHS weather forecast. Today, cloudy, turning warmer, high near 50. Tonight, showers early will become a steadier rain overnight with a rumble of thunder possible low near 45. Tomorrow, windy with periods of rain and snow during the afternoon. Temperatures falling to near 35. That's a look at your weather forecast. Now here's a look at JHS Sports. Good afternoon. I'm Corey Carter with today's JHS Sports. The Jeff Boys basketball team dropped a 54-45 loss to number 11 ranked Louisville Eastern on Saturday at Johnson Arena. Edward Baker scored 12 points to lead Jeff while Eric Valentine scored 11. Jeff ends the regular season at 9 and 11. The Courier Journal is named an all-area wrestling team. We got two first teams and four second teams. 
Sophomore Curtis Smith and senior Richard Hayes were named first team, while Tyler Tagenhorst, Dominique Smith, John Clark, and Caleb Brown are received second team honors. Wrestlers, the banquet is tomorrow night, Tuesday at 7 p.m. Make sure you bring a covered dish. See Coach Struck if you have any questions. Open mat with the middle school is every day at 4 o'clock for the next two weeks to help them prepare for an all-star meet in Evansville. IHSAA boys basketball sectional tickets will be on sale at the Jeffersonville High School Athletic Office today, February 25th from 7.30 a.m. to 2.30 p.m. and Tuesday, February 26th from 7.30 a.m. to 12 p.m. There is a mandatory meeting today in Mr. Riley's room for anyone interested in playing girls tennis. Official practice starts March 10th and IHSAA physical is required to try out for the team. Official boys and girls track practice continues. Practice is mandatory and all athletes should be out on the track ready to start practice by 3 p.m. Winter sport athletes may join the team at the end of their season. And that's all for Jeff Sports. Finally today, you can wish someone a happy birthday on the JHS Report. All you need to do is bring six pictures and five dollars to room 713 and we'll get your greeting on the air. Please bring your greeting at least two days in advance. Remember, if you have pictures at WJHS, please stop by and pick them up as soon as possible. Now you're up to date with the latest Jeff High News. I'm Ashley Quantz. And I'm Lacey Leonard. Have a great day and th thank you for doing your part to make Jeff High School a better school. And thank you for watching the JHS Report. Well, she was